Здравствуйте, товарищи! This capitalist video is sponsored by uh, Mother Russia still. Vodka and some huge ass bears. Let's freaking drop the accent. Uh, playing the Udaloy in a tier 9 game with a CV, which is really nice because I'm running a hybrid build. Gun build with AA. So it's quite effective in uh, brawls and using its guns, but also has a good survivability against uh, carriers. I was probably on Facebook during uh, my ship's travels towards the LIDD. So I'm going straight towards him. My intention was to get as close to him and support him against the CV as he's trying to cap. I was thinking he's going for B, but apparently he's uh, coming to support me, support him to A. Which is even better. Yeah. Capture that point. Unfortunately, we got this guy in the team. Well, Marina Militare Italiana is a nice clan and filled with nice people that I enjoy playing with and Bring talking with. But yeah, this guy is an exception and always been an exception since I've, well, known him. And I'm sure he's not going to disappoint this time either. Well, right now I'm supporting the Gajamada who's going straight for the cap. I'll provide him with AA cover if needed and also some gun power if needed. The enemy run a Kitakaze, a Loyang and a Mayhem as destroyers. And the Mayhem should be where the Fiji is. And none of them are spotted. The Loyang is spotted in C, where he actually makes the cap. And here we have a pushing King George, who... Well... He's basically suiciding unless he's got friends around him that will spot him for him and nuke us. Otherwise, it's gonna be a short trip for him. And we get some planes. There's a Kitakaze popping. Small cup here. I wanna take some shots at the Kitakaze. And also provide some smoke for the incoming two cruisers. I see only... Only one of the cruisers decides to, to support us here. Smoke screen deployed. Gonna put some shots into the King George. Try to keep him as far away as possible from the cap. The Gajamada goes out of his smoke smartly just to spot the Kitakaze. There are plays incoming. But yeah, as long as they're not dropping the DD, I'm just gonna let them drop this guy. Yeah, just the detonation would have been nice, but... Guess that didn't happen. I actually popped defensive A, but the replay doesn't show. I popped it on those bombers, and I think I even killed one. Yeah. That's why the Gaja only took like minor damage. But I didn't want to waste them on this guy. He's, he's better off, trust me. Here comes my uh, cruiser that I was expecting for so long to support us here. It's for him that I smoked. And he's gonna help us kill the King George and probably support us with the Kitakaze. Yeah, there he is. He 
keeps firing, which is good. His shells aren't as fast as mine, it's easier for me to hit him than it is for him to hit me. I'm faster, smaller and yeah, the shells are uh, way more accurate. Bring all available fire to bear on that target. He's getting pre pretty well chunked. This guy is backseat driving, of course, that I should chase him when actually he's getting perma spotted by the carrier. But you know, backseat driving. Told you don't expect much from this guy except spam and salt. And yeah, this kind of attitude. Annoyance eliminated. Where the hell is everyone? I need some help. Right now, the enemy has uh, an AFK King George, which will be a good sponge for some damage. Some free damage is never, uh, never bad. Let's just hope he doesn't die before I get to him. Mogami Itsuki Takazu Torp. Our carrier is smartly focusing the FK ship. Since it's uh, really important that we have a vision on it and kill it. You never know what an AFK ship might do. Right. At this stage she's probably dead, but the enemy have two caps and we will have to push as hard as possible here to create like a second flank so that we can uh, eventually trap the people in B kill them from both sides and then get the cap and get the points back. They have a 30, 30 points lead, but we have the ship lead. I don't know if we have the HP pool lead, but we have the ship numbers. The A division died. They did their best, but they died there. They Seem to have uh, dealt a lot of damage though. Killed the Loyang. Turpits, which is good. Loyang would have been an issue. What we have right now is a Fiji and the Mayhem trying to make it out of B alive because they're getting pushed by the Colorado and the FDG. I'm trying to force him to, I don't know, hide, smoke, do something, which he does. Let's see if he damage cons. No, he keeps the fire going. I'm trying to force him out because I can actually outgun him if I go nose in, but apparently I'm an idiot. Driving full broadside, so I get chunked. The Mayhem shows up for some reason. Relay that vessel's position to the fleet. Wants to duel me with the help of the Fiji and, well, he's probably gonna get what's coming to him. There he goes. Enemy destroyer obliterated. Now I'm just waiting for the Fiji to come out of the smoke all panicked. Request fire on designated hostile. But he doesn't. They're cruising on the river sticks now. Hits two torps and dies. Now I'm pretty sure 
this Tirpitz would have shot some of his secondaries at me while I was brawling. So I'm already imagining that this guy doesn't have a proper build or a 19 point captain. Which means he's, well, going to be farmed. His secondaries don't open up on me, so clearly he doesn't have a secondary build. I just gotta keep him 7.5 kilometers away from me and I should be safe. Engage smoke generators. Smoking up because uh, I think I will get focused by the cruiser. Yep. And right now nobody is here to support me fighting that Char Martel. And he's like in 10 kilometers, 11 now. So he's quite dangerous with reload booster. I'm gonna have to just chip him and kill him before I can move forward. It's really bad to have one of these reload booster ships on your uh, on your flank. They can cause a lot of damage if you don't keep them in check. I will keep him at maximum range and try to just put pressure on him so he doesn't shoot me while I move forward towards where I think the carrier is on the 9-10 line. It gives me the opportunity to shoot at him, which I will take. My shells are quite accurate, they're quite fast, the distance is good, I have time to dodge if he tries to shoot back. I have a high fire chance so I'm uh, gonna spam him with HE, hope for a, hope for a fire. And there's one. The Tirpitz is ignoring me completely, his secondaries don't work. And I'm ignoring him completely. So my focus is killing this uh, Char Martel and moving on towards the carrier. The Tirpitz will probably run from me and let me get to his carrier unchallenged. Now the carrier is spotted. He's behind that island at C10 and I will head straight for him and prepare because he's most certainly gonna drop me. Destroyed a cruiser. Oh, that was a Kraken. And I'm preparing for his drops. I have to kill as many planes as possible. So it takes him a long time to reload them and he doesn't have them prepared because in 10 kilometers he's gonna probably have another set ready before I get to him. Luckily his torpedoes are quite slow so uh, if I can just keep the drops, the torpedo drops coming from behind, I can actually outrun the the torpedoes. The torpedoes manages to hit me with three out of his four shells from his back guns. Why not? I wish I had that dispersion. Ever. I still don't have a shot on the, on the carrier, he's still safely behind the island. He sees me coming on this side, so he's probably gonna run forward. There's no, no other way. If he sits there, I'm gonna just torpedo drive by him. And here comes the second set. There will be another triple drop. Just keeping the eye on the planes. You wanna make sure that... It drops you either from the front or behind. 
because you can outrun Torps, but you cannot like dodge them from the sides pretty well in this small cruiser. First set is from the front, second set should come from behind, and probably the third from the front, yeah. This is actually a bad drop, not much dodging to do, and the Torps cannot catch up with me. My carrier drops him, I open up on him and yeah he's, he's going full speed towards a torpedo salvo. Smoking up here, killing him would mean the game since we're already at 966 points. There's nothing else to do but wait for my torpedoes to hit him, secure the second, uh, the sixth skill and basically the game. And yeah, this is game. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> See you on the next one.